Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Tuesday, May 20th, 2014. Okay, a uh, quiet day yesterday from a scheduled announcement perspective. Quiet day today. Moving right along. Oh, why is there so much white space there? Anyway, uh, let's take a look at Asia. Pretty bullish across the board, except for the Asia Dow and in Europe. We're kind of mixed, uh, but mostly bearish. All right, quickly moving right along, let's take a look and see what is going on here in the U.S. pre-market. The futures are pointing to a slightly negative open. Gold is down back below significantly. A nice move yesterday down um, to 1292 and oil's at 102.22 and I think oil's just going to continue to creep up alright uh, without much further ado let's just move right along here and see if we can get out a little bit early today yesterday I entered um, bull puts on BA 3M and SPX so we have a little bit of uh, positive delta here with BA, 3M, and SPX. Now, SPX, as you'll see, <laughs> I was in the wrong expiration chain, and I picked this coming Friday. It was probably put the order in right after, um, maybe right after 3M or something like that. I'm not sure. But I forgot to change the expiration date on the chain. So we have an expiration date of this Friday on this particular 20 Delta trade. All right, we'll uh, take a look at everything as we go through the A plus list. And we'll use the Analyze tab to tell us for sure where we are with each trade. Let's look at a chart here. Uh, this is a weekly chart. All right. I want to say a little something about weekly charts when we get to SPX and 20 deltas. Just a little bit. So uh, Apple, uh, we definitely are in an uptrend here on Apple. So we're going to throw a target in down here just to pull our eyes down. And take a look at that, but nothing going right now. Amazon. Uh, we are definitely in a downtrend. This qualifies because we touched the 30 here. So we're going to be looking for an entry here on Amazon. Just keeps tumbling and tumbling. Boeing, we are in uh, with, is this a 20 delta? Yes, this was a 20 delta trade. It has an expiration of June 1, the first Friday in June. And uh, that one should work out pretty good. We had 143 and 656, so that's um, a little bit better than 5 to 1 on a 20 delta, which is a good thing if we were to look at this on a chart. Um, it's looking pretty good. Now, we we're going to look at uh, uh, SPX on a weekly chart, but since this is a 20 delta, let's take a look at that on a weekly chart. And there's no reason why you can't change time frames. So if we're in an uptrend and we're looking for a longer term trade, say, you know, like normal monthly expiration cycles, you might want to take a look at this because here we can see that, see, uptrend here is two weeks and then this one is uh, one week, two weeks, three weeks. So if we look at the width of these cycles, especially the green line because we're in an uptrend, that is uh, kind of what we would want to look at on a weekly chart. And there's no reason why you can't go four days or three days or whatever and look at the width of the cycles and only in one direction and that's the direction that you're looking at so we're looking at one two three weeks here for that cycle and if you did a 20 delta say after you got confirmation here at the end of this week you did a 20 delta you'd be down here and you would be perfectly safe 
uh, just about any one of these. We're just looking for entry. That's all we're looking for. So even here, uh, during this red cycle, if you had gotten in, say, back here, um, with a 20 delta, you would be just fine. Actually, uh, practically anywhere along here, except for these candles right here, uh, you would be just great. So you got to have confidence in your indicators, even after a week, two weeks in a row like this, where you dropped uh, from 141 down to 124. That's a pretty big chunk. Um, say that round that off to twenty dollars on a hundred and forty dollars stock that's a that's a correction i guess you could say i say ten percent is a correction that's darn near or maybe a little bit over ten percent so um you have to have confidence in your signals and you you know you're taking a risk nothing is a hundred percent guaranteed so if you got in towards the end of this week you know, using the same rules, you wait till Thursday or Friday, you check your weekly chart. If you're green here on the stochastic, go ahead, do a 20. And then the next week, you're green on both the stochastic and the MACD. So there's really, I mean, you know, there's a lot of different ways that you can play this, but um, changing time frames for longer duration trades is uh, nothing wrong with that and checking that out now for this trade that we did right here I did that off of a daily chart so if we go back to a daily this is a entry here on a daily chart now you can look at you can put a weekly here and a daily on this side and look for your longer term trades which I would always do as 20 deltas I would not do a 50 delta for a longer term trade because there's really nothing to gain from it you know 50 delta is 50 delta I mean that's all that there is to it you know you're gonna get um, your credits gonna be half a year spread between your short and your long and that's the way it's gonna be practically anywhere along the time frame but a 20 delta is a little bit different because the longer the further out you put your expiration day the higher your um, credit's going to be so just keep that in mind so we're on Boeing here and we have a 20 delta trade and if we take a look on a weekly chart um, it's kind of a little tight on a weekly chart but you know We'll just have to see how it works out. And we're not going to be in it all that long. Okay. Um, let's go back to the daily chart and continue with our scan. Taking a look at Baidu. Uh, we have a 20 delta entry here. I didn't... This must have happened later in the day. Because I didn't see it in the morning. And that's the only time that I was... Uh, looking at the market was uh, between 9.30 and 10. Because then I had some, it's a nice day yesterday, I had some outside chores. So this was a 20 delta here. Let's take a look at a weekly. Uh, and it looks good, very good on a weekly. So there's no reason why, you know, you can't like pop for that on a 20 delta. And it's probably still not too late. Because actually, if we go back here and look at the weekly, actually, um, this is this this is this week. This green here is just this week. So if we were to wait, we could actually wait a couple more days. I haven't proven this thing out, but probably just to confirm that for sure, stochastic's going to stay green for the week. And that it's a good entry point you can do that too and you know right along here all these here are good weekly trades right here that's a good weekly trade so um, yeah or a good I should say good 20 Delta trade sorry I wasn't thinking correctly uh, this could be a good 20 Delta trade and notice the difference between a daily and a weekly. We're in an uptrend on a weekly chart. 
we are in a downtrend on a daily chart. <laughs> but we definitely are choppy here and in consolidation. And that's another indicator for me to go with the 20 delta. Just like uh, there is no hard and fast rules. It's sort of ambiguous for the 20 delta when you do a 20 delta. But I would not trade this with a 50 delta for sure. Because there's just, there's the price movement just is not here. It's bouncing along the 50 MA. And actually the uh, EMA and SMA are getting very close to um, meeting each other. So that tells us that there's not a lot of uh, price movement in the direction of the trend. Okay, uh, but when it breaks through it and cuts through it like that, very powerful and price is pretty far away from even the EMA, which is a little bit quicker than the SMA, um, then you get good movement here, but no entries. <laughs> yeah, you can't win. Okay. That's enough about that. I was going to try to get us out of here early. Celgene. Uh, right, this would have worked out pretty well for a 20 delta. Didn't get into it. I'm not going to do a 20 delta here. So I'm going to move this over for another 20 delta entry here. And Celgene is just an exception. I'm just uh, very cautious with Celgene. Chipotle. Uh, we are definitely in a downtrend. We want a target right up here. So we're looking for that one to come up. Costco, we are in Costco right now. Uh, we probably have some something going on with... Um, well, we had a big move up yesterday. I was going to say that there's an increase in volatility or... Price moved up and price did move up. So we're in here, up here, and we'll just have to keep an eye on that. In theory, we should cut back down today. So we'll see what happens. CVX, we don't panic. We don't panic. CVX uh, seems to be working out pretty well for us right now. And even if we get a move up, I don't. Exits on 20 deltas, I haven't really worked those out to where they're concrete either. So I don't think if I get a hook up here, I don't think I'm going to get out of it. Because I, back here, a 20 delta up here would have been perfectly safe. So we'll see how that one works out. Take a look at the Dow. And what it did, well, we're not in new highs right now, but we do have a hook up here. And we don't trade this particular underlying, but we just use it to take a look and see what the market is doing. And if you were to bet overall on the Dow 30, somehow or another, maybe in futures, um, this would be a good time to buy. Igor... Uh, we have a half a half a hook here. We got one on stochastic, no confirmation on the MACD. Wait one more day. Although it doesn't really look promising, looking at yesterday, it did not participate in the surge midday uh, surge in the market. Didn't participate in it. So we're not real hopeful on this one, but it is a setup. FedEx. Uh, we're not in FedEx right now, but we did get a nice little setup here. Actually, I think I put an order in on FedEx, and I don't think it executed. It just uh, kind of ran away. So, it definitely uh, participated in the midday. Well, it's not really midday. This was 2.30 in the afternoon when it finally started moving up. So this is alertable at this point. So we're going to go ahead and throw an alert on here. There. And that, of course, would be a 50 delta. F5 networks. 
nothing live there. Um, wow, they had a very nice day. I think it might have something to do with Cisco or who was it that? SanDisk or somebody like that had a had pretty good earnings. I forget who it was. Um, but somebody like that. So I don't know if this kind of uh, benefited from that or not. But we're in a downtrend, but we didn't come down here with the red portion of the stochastic and give us a good wave. This is a half wave. So this might be, well, you might consider this to be a 20 delta, but I'm not even going to concern myself with it at this time. Gold, still looking to do a, sell that um, call on my 100 shares here. Not doing too good with this particular trade. Um, nothing going there. And... We were looking for a 20 delta, and it doesn't look promising. And based on what I'm seeing this morning, it's not going to work out. Google, nothing live right now. Uh, it's coming up and interested in hitting our target. So we'll see if it retains that interest. LinkedIn. up here in setup territory can we go to the well one more time on LinkedIn <laughs> well we'll see 3m we are in 3m and get rid of this with a 50 Delta trade um, I had an order that I put in the, in the morning around 10 o'clock and I waited for it to hit my price and it hit my price because it pulled back and now it looks like it's all in the midday rally and pulled back. We'll see uh, how it works out. It's got the momentum, you know, momentum turned up. So we'll see how it works out. NDX. Uh, we were looking for a hook down to go with a 20 delta on the bear call side. It still is in setup mode. Moving right along, Netflix, nothing live. You heard it here first. We had an alert set on this, and the alert did not trigger. We had a failure, so we're going to cancel the alert and clear this puppy out of any drawings that might be left over from a past life. And so now we're starting all over again and trying to figure out, well, what are we going to do about Netflix? It looks like as though it may be in the process of changing its direction of the trend. Price line, we're not in anything right now. Uh, come on, charts. All right. Uh, we're approaching our target. We are not in setup land yet. So we'll have to wait on that one. Russell, uh, we are in setup for a 20 delta. And since we're talking 20 delta, let's just take a quick look at a weekly chart on that. Um, we're still in an uptrend on a weekly chart. But uh, the EMA 50 period or 50 week EMA has turned negative uh, all right so yeah we actually made some money off of this you know when I went with a with a bullish trade that I got burned so <laughs> staying away from that maybe the weekly thing would not work out I don't know um, it's too, it's too slow for my taste, personally. Personally, it's too slow. Too much time. I'm very impatient. Don't like to stay in trades very long if uh, you can't tell. Um, all right, so we are in setup mode on the Russell for a bear call. All right. Moving right along. SPX we are in with a 20 Delta trade here. 50 bucks right now 
and we just sort of bounced off this 50 day simple moving average and the EMA has turned up so maybe we're going to come back up here and test this high TLT uh, multiple trades in on this uh, and this is what it looks like right now so we are looking at another potential setup here for a 20 delta so I'm going to put them on my 20 delta list and moving right along Tesla uh, so much for getting out early huh uh, Tesla looks like as though it's trying to come back up here and test this recent downtrend um, so we'll see how that works because we definitely had a failure here and we did not get confirmation for a bear call oops so it kept us out and we like that uh, and it's just marching right along so definitely we're getting rid of that and we'll reconsider what we might be doing about Tesla UNP is uh, making a strong, very strong move here, Union Pacific. Uh, looking for a move down here. And last, but definitely not least, is Visa. Visa is in setup territory for a bear call. And that, in a nutshell, is that. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.